What's going on stackers? So in this video I'm going to share with you how to reverse engineer KDP low content book niches. So welcome back to Stacking Profit. My name's Paddy and over here we give you the tools and resources to learn, grow and master passive income streams so that you can live a life of freedom. Now like I said in this video I'm going to share with you how to reverse engineer KDP low content book niches. Now, how are we going to be doing this? Well, it's using sites like Creative Market and also Creative Fabrica. We can go through all the illustrations and things like this on the sites, writing down all the niches, and then dive deeper using SPTs, and that's self-publishing Titan's Chrome extension. We can dive deeper using that and Helium 10. Now, what I'm about to share is nothing new. I've been talking about niche research methods for a very long time and we have lots of different ways of finding niches here on the channel. Now here's a playlist that we have called how to find profitable niches for KDP. What I'm going to do is link this in the right hand corner so you can go through and watch because I share a lot of great tips and strategies all within these videos. So come through and take a look. Now, before we actually get into reverse engineering these graphics to find niches, the first thing that you should be doing, whoops, let's get off there, the first thing that you should be doing is have some idea of what type of book that you want to create. That way it's going to make things so much easier. Now, what you'd want to do is just come over, come over to Amazon and type in your book type. For this instance, this is going to be for colouring book niches. If you wanted to do journal niches, you could type in journal, you could type in activity, books as well. We just want that main book type that you're going to create. This way is going to make things so much easier to find niches. Now again, for this example, we're going to go with colouring book. So we're going to leave that there for a second, and now we're going to go back over to Creative Market and start reverse engineering. Now this is pretty simple and this is something that I do quite a lot myself to find niches and that's working backwards. So instead of coming up with a niche out of nowhere, which is actually pretty hard to do, I come over to sites like Creative Market, Creative Fabrica, find graphics and niches and then I go from there. So right off the bat, all I've done is come over to creative market we're on the first page or no we're not we're on illustrations so i went to graphics illustrations just here and now i'm on this page now from here all i start doing is brainstorming brainstorming ideas and putting them into a list now this is very simple to do we just want to look for keywords or niches that are standing out to us so right off the bat there's lots of flowers so floral could be one. If we look here, watercolour, gold leaves. So gold, leaves, two types of niches there. If we keep scrolling through, there's lots of floral. So we have watercolour, garden flowers. So as there's a lot of flowers, let's type in that. So flowers. Remember, we just want to find niches or niche ideas so that we can dive deeper. This is all about brainstorming those ideas first before we start diving deeper. So right off the bat on Creative Market, there's a lot of floral, a lot of flowers. We have more flowers here. Cocktail, cocktail could kind of be a niche. But then here, look, woodland, woodland babies. So let's type them down. We'll go woodland babies. Then we'll just keep looking. Now right here, more flowers again. Meadow flowers. So that could actually be a niche. Then we have wild flowers. That could be a niche. A wild flower floral notebook or a wild flower colouring book. There's so many ideas that I get from doing it this way. So let's type that in as well. We're going to go with wild 
flowers. Remember, we just want to brainstorm a bunch of ideas before we start diving deep. Now we have more here, cute kids bundle, another kids bundle. So in fact, I'll open this kids bundle and take a little look. Now right off the bat, I can see loads of different niches. There's camping, monster trucks, mermaids, kids drawings. So that's not quite a niche, but space, jungle animals, robots. So all of these are niches which I'd write down in my ideas list. So let's do wildflowers. We just did that. Then robot. So let's do that again. Robot. Then they have mermaids, monster, trucks, camping. So as you can see, if you do this first, go to all these different sites, going through their collection of illustrations, you're going to come up with lots of different niches. Now, this is just on the first page. There's a few more there that we could write down, but I think that you get the idea. I'd come back over, then I'd go to the second page, keep going through, unearthing those niches and writing them into a list. I do this on Creative Market. I also do this on Creative Fabrica. Now with Creative Fabrica, we can go through all the graphics. I just clicked on graphics here. It brought me to this page. I can then go through to check out these 4.6 million graphics and then from here I can start going through the first page to see what niches are standing out so right off the bat there's sunflowers so that's going to be a niche so we can type that sunflower there we go let's click on that one and then there's coffee so coffee is another niche then we have bees hippies Lots of great stuff, even butterflies. So doing your research this way, kind of reverse engineering the niches on these websites, if you do this, then you know that you can already get those graphics. So as an example, let's use this watercolor butterfly clip art. If I started diving deeper into the butterfly niche, whether that's coloring books, notebooks, composition notebooks, activity books, if I keep diving deeper into the butterfly niche and then find a keyword that I'd like to create a book around, I then now know that I can also get my graphics for the book that I want to create because we reversed engineered the niche and we worked backwards finding the graphics first. So that's just one of the really great tips that I can give you. But again, I'd keep going through all of these writing down all the niches that stand out. I could do that for the graphics. We can go to here, to KDP Interiors, and then look through here as well, because you're going to get so many great ideas. If we click on here, sort by popularity, and go to sort by latest, it's going to give you the freshly released interiors here on Creative Fabrica. And just by doing this alone as well, you can find some really great niches. There's weekly meal planners, doctor visit logbook and inventory logbook if you take these keywords you can put them into your list as well and also dive deeper you can also come up to the top and go to graphics and then go to coloring books for kids or for adults and again you're going to come up with so many different ideas especially if you're trying to create coloring books so a cute animals coloring book mermaid coloring book now mermaid would be very broad with a lot of competition but if we type in coloring book like like I said previously, you need your book type here first so you can start diving deeper. Now I'm going to put mermaid, coloring book, and look right here. There's all of these different keywords that we can dive deeper into to see if that's profitable. So most people are going to see this. Where is it? Mermaid, coloring book. Maybe that's too complex competitive maybe there's too many books but when you dive deeper looking at the keywords and going through all of them actually research you can find some really great keywords in competitive niches so how do you actually find the profitable keywords and dive deeper from your niche list well it's very simple you use a few different tools you can use free ones like this this is self-publishing titans Amazon Suggestions Expander Thingy Magic is a really good tool. I really like this. But then they also have their other one as well, which is their KDP Niche Research Extension. Both completely free to use. But when you're looking through keywords like this, you can click on one and then the 
other extension, this one, is going to give you a niche score to tell you if it's any good. So let's t take one of these. We'll do Mermaid Colouring Book for girls ages 4 to 8. Very, very specific. So if we look here, there's 10,000 results. So right off the bat, this is going to be too many results for me to create a book. Ideally, I want anything under 5,000, and anything under 1,000 is going to be even better. So this one, this keyword, doesn't look that great, so I'd go through and look at all of the other keywords. Instead of the Mermaid Colouring Book for Girls, we could have a look at this one just here. Mermaid Colouring Book for Kids, ages 4 to 8. If we click on here, look at this one. So there's only a 1,000 results for this keyword. That's Mermaid Colouring Book for Kids ages 4 to 8. The score is 40% as well. So this looks okay. Now things that I look for is reviews. The lower, the better. It means there's not that many books on the first page with lots of reviews. 3,300 is a little bit high. That bestsellers rank looks pretty good. And the number of results, 1,500. So this looks like something that could potentially be a great keyword. Again, it all comes down to diving deeper. Now, another way that you can dive deeper is using a paid tool, a paid tool called Helium 10. Now, if you want to check out Helium 10, we do have an offer down in the description below where you can get 50% off your first month when you use code stackingprofit50 or 10% off every month when you use code stack in profit 10 so if this is something that you're interested in there will be a link down in the description below because i use helium 10 an awful lot in my business because it's one of the best paid tools out there for selling anything on amazon including kdp so now let's go over to helium 10 in the dashboard i've gone to tools just here and I've gone to Magnet. Now with Magnet, this is a keyword research tool. You can put in your keyword and then it's gonna give you a bunch of data. So let's take one of these keywords. In fact, let's do this mermaid coloring book for kids ages four to eight. Now, if we go here, let's type in that. We could do this and let's click get keywords. Now let's just give that a second to do its thing. And there we go. So right off the bat, it's telling us that there's no search volume. Very, very weird. Mermaid coloring book for kids ages four to eight years. So with this, it's telling me that there's no traffic. We know that there is because Amazon auto suggested this. And if Amazon auto suggests keywords, that means people are actually searching for them. So right here, it's telling us there's no search volume. So this is why I like to use Helium 10, just to get a good gauge of how many people are actually searching for a book. So this one, even though it looks fairly good here, the score 40, ideally you want that above 50 or anything above 60 would be even better. But looking on Helium 10, we can see that it says there's no traffic. So ideally, I want to find one with traffic. So let's just try and modify this little bit. Mermaid colouring book for kids ages 4 to 8. Let's see if we can take away the years. There we go. Let's do that one more time. And there we go. Let's go with this one. Mermaid colouring book for kids ages 4 to 8. So the same, but without the years. So let's click on that. Okay, so there's still a 1,000 results. So that's telling me this could still be a good niche. So now instead of having the years, let's take this. So that would be mermaid colouring book for kids ages four to eight so let's go back to here let's take away this mermaid coloring book for kids ages four to eight look at that it's the first one to pop up so this might actually be the most popular out of these keywords let's take a little look let's click get keyword and let's just give that a second as well and there we go so right off the bat the other one with years or year after the four to eight it said it had no traffic, but I know that there is because mermaids are very popular. But now look, mermaid colouring book for kids ages 4 to 8, and there's 1,314 monthly searches. If we look at the graph, we can see how many people are actually searching for a mermaid colouring book for kids ages 4 to 8. And right off the bat, it's actually quite a few. If we go to all time, we can see that just here. So this, if we go back... It's given us a score of 32, 
so not as good as the previous one. So this is one that I might have to look even more into to see if this is something that I'd want to create a book around. But again, it all comes down to doing your niche research first, building out a list of niches and then diving deeper into those niches, either using free tools or paid tools. I use Helium 10 just because it's my preferred software. And what we just did with the mermaid colouring books, I'd go through the niche list. That's the wrong one just here. Let me get rid of that. There we go. I would use the niche list like this. So we have coffee, sunflowers, camping, monster trucks. And then I'd use this list, come back to here, type in colouring book because that's the book type that I want to research go back to my list and then I'd start going through them like wildflowers so wildflower colouring book wild flower look people are searching for this because Amazon's auto populated we can check one of these there's 2000 results for wildflower colouring book now I could take this data this wildflower colouring book go over to magnet take that away and type that here, wild flower colouring book. Give that a second, there we go. Now click on here and click get keywords. Then I can actually go through the data to see if it's worth me publishing a book. And I can get all other related keywords to that keyword down here. Now I'm going to share with you a couple of filters to use in a second when you're doing your research here. But right off the bat, Wildflower Coloring Book gets 478 monthly searches. So it gets a decent amount of searches but that score is just a little bit low. Ideally, anything above 50 is good. Anything above 60 is even better. Now, let's do one more of these. Let's take this. What we got next? Let's do a robot. So, robot coloring book. Again, this could be a robot activity book, a robot composition notebook. There's so many different ideas for your books. Now, let's put in robot Robot colouring book, look at that. Now, the more keywords that you find here normally means the more popular a niche is. So we can see that people are looking for robot colouring book, four to eight, teens, toddlers, four to eight again, three to eight, two to four. So there's a lot of traffic in this niche. Now let's just click on robot colouring book. Look at that, so really low results, only 835. Now let's just give that a second to do its thing as well. Let's go back over to Helium 10. Let's type in this and then I'm going to share with you the filters that I also use. So robot colouring book. Yep, it's populated it. So let's click on there. Let's click get keywords. Give that a second to do its thing. Let's go back over to here. 29, so that's a shame. So 835 results. That average reviews is really low, but I think the score's a little bit lower because of that bestsellers rank. Look at that, over a million. So if we take a look down here, with these robot coloring books, there's a million BSR, 300,000, 600,000. So this is kind of more of a micro niche. So I'll be interested to see how many people are actually searching in this month, or no, in this niche every month. So let's go back over to Magnet. So, 192 monthly searches at the minute for a robot colouring book. So that's why the niche score isn't great, because those average BSRs are pretty high, just because there's not that much traffic. So if you were to create a robot colouring book, you can still expect to make a few sales each and every month. But again, this is why I like to use both tools, SPT's free Chrome extension along with Helium 10, because Helium 10 can just give me so much more data. Now, if we look here, all of these keywords just here, some of them aren't related to that main keyword of robot coloring book. So to filter everything down, what I like to do is play with the search volume. I want keywords that have a minimum of 100 searches. So I don't want anything lower than that. Then competing products, I don't want anything more than 5,000. And then I want phrases containing robot and also coloring book. Now this is going to filter down these 869 keywords to find more related keywords to that main keyword. And again, you can do this with any key. 
And there we go. So these filters, which I've used just here, have filtered down the 600, no, the 869 keywords to only 67. Now we should have more related keywords that are more targeted to what I want to look for. So robot picture books, look at that. There's 142 searches and only 2,000 results. So that might be something that you want to look into. Robot adult coloring books, robot coloring books for kids, and just lots more keywords. So this is how I like to filter down everything within Helium 10. Now, another great thing is by doing this, you're going to come up with lots of other great ideas. Look, cow coloring book, zoo coloring book, elephant, farting dinosaur coloring book. Look at that, 1,000 results gets 496 monthly searches. So again, this is just why I love using Helium 10. But give this a go. Start reverse engineering, start using other sites to find all these different graphics, and then work backwards from those graphics to find the niches, and then find the keywords for you to create your books around. Now, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, also, go hit subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you can be notified for any further videos. That being said, I've been Paddy, this has been Stacking Profit, and I'll see you again soon.